Hey everyone, for this tutorial we are going to be working with the circle pattern to take something that would normally be rather time consuming and speeding it up. So this silver atom contains a total of 47 electrons. It's fully 3D, fully, fully cool looking, and we are going to make it. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, let's get started. Go ahead and create a new standard.ipt and we're going to start a new sketch and draw out some circles to begin with. So I'm going to tell you the dimensions of each circle. The first one, make one inch. The next one, start it at the center and make it 2.5 inches, followed by 5 inches, 7.5 inches, and the last one, you guessed it, was 10 inches. Okay, once you have those in place, in the center, go ahead and add some text. And because this is a silver atom, I would like you to click somewhere in that center with that text tool. Type in AG for silver, select it, and then change the size to 0.5. So it made it larger, press OK, uh, and if it isn't perfectly straight, press Escape a few times, move it into place, and then use the Rotate tool located up here, and go Center Point, and click there, and rotate it so that it's in the center. It should look something like that. Okay, next let's go ahead and add the, the electrons. So the first orbital has two electrons, and we're going to create an electron by drawing a 0.5 inch circle and then we're going to cut it in half like that okay and trim off two of the sides so that you're just left with half a circle and that's what we want now to speed up this process use the copy tool over here and select both halves and then go base point and I click at the center of that half point and move it. We're going to create a copy over here. Try to get it as close to the line as possible, even if it doesn't snap. Uh, and apply one there and apply one here and one here so that we have one on each layer like that. Go ahead, press done. Next, we're going to add a little bit of thickness to these lines because there's not really a whole lot there. So use the offset tool click on that and on each line I just want you to go up a total of 0 0.05 units and I want you to click on it again and then go down a total of 0 0.05 units so you're just offsetting each by a little bit so that each of them have a little bit of thickness not a lot just a little so 0 0.05 for each of those Okay, now you don't need to do it for the last one because there's no electrons on it. Let's go ahead and finish the sketch. And let's start by extruding out the orbitals. So go ahead and click on each of those lines. And if it sticks out a lot, that's fine. We need to adjust that number anyway. So I'm just clicking on each portion as well as the center point like that. And we're going to do a symmetric or half and half so select this option here and then we're going to adjust that distance to a total of 0.1 inches so 0.1 and then press OK so we are we're left with something that looks like this let's go ahead and get our sketch back on it's hiding under that last thing we did which is extrusion 1 there's our sketch right click on it and turn the visibility back on okay let's uh, extrude out the symbol AG and 0.1 is fine, so just hit OK. And now for these four, I would like you to revolve each of them. So go to Revolve, select the section first, then go to Axes, and select the line that you want it to revolve around. So that's going to be this line, and then press OK. So there's, these are the electrons, and we're creating them really quick. Press OK. Revolve, that axes, 
that. Okay, so we have our electrons in place. Let's go ahead and hide the sketch. So it's sketch one, right click and turn off the visibility. And we're left with this. Now we are a few electrons short. So now this is when that handy circular pattern comes in. To create all these 57 electrons, that would take a lot of time. Or not 57, it's, uh, it's what, 47. 47 electrons, that would take a lot of time. Uh, but with the circle pattern, we can do it very quickly. So go to circular. And here's my circle pattern. And first select this electron, or revolution one. Then go to rotation axes, and that's going to be what it's revolving around. So that's going to be this circle here. Click on that, and then specify how many you would like. In this case, I would like two. Press OK, and just like that, our first orbital is complete with two electrons. The next one is going to have eight electrons, so select that. Rotation axes will be this circle, because that's what it's revolving around. And then it has a total of eight electrons, just like that. The next one, we are getting into more electrons, so click that. Rotation axes would probably be this, and this one will have a total of, I believe it's 18 electrons. Okay, so it's looking really cool, very high tech. And then lastly, uh, if we add all these together, the last one should have a total of 19 electrons. So I'm going to type in 19 and press OK. OK, so check this out. <laughs> this is a, uh, a silver atom right here. It's very high tech. Let's go ahead and make the legit colors. Go over to adjust. Um, go to where it's all dashed. And we're going to just darken it to black. Press OK. And then I just want you to go to each of the circles. Uh, and we're going to, usually they are like a green color. At least they are, in, or they were in my textbooks. Uh, so go around and add that color to each of them. It's kind of slightly time consuming, but I mean, if you think about how much time you saved with that circle pattern, you know, this would have taken, you know, a lot more time. Yeah, and if you're not actually like saving this every time with the plus, just make sure you're actually hitting it before you click. So I'm an expert. I've been doing this a while. So yeah, okay, and let's go ahead and add that depth to it. Okay, there you go. One silver atom. Go ahead, show this to your, your chemistry teacher, uh, if, if any of you are taking chemistry, because uh, this is pretty cool. Okay, and that's going to conclude this video. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. But that's pretty much it. Okay, peace. Hey everyone, for this tutorial, we are going to be working with the circle pattern to take something that would normally be rather time consuming and speeding it up. So this silver atom contains a total of 47 electrons. It's fully 3D, fully, fully cool looking, and we are going to make it. So let's go ahead and get started.